Hey guys, Thundi E here, and today you're taking a look at the brand new gaming hub from Samsung. Now, if you're coming from uh, board work, you've seen Xbox Game Pass on Samsung's gaming hub, and it's one of the hubs here on the side. You can see there's a media hub and there's a gaming hub. We are in the gaming hub here. Now, uh, the first thing you notice is that you see your streaming services, and they're actually there. You can go ahead and install them. I already have all of mine installed. But you also have your consoles. So right here I have my Xbox Series X connected and it says XOS for your console, Xbox console. And then it says PlayStation 5 for my PlayStation 5. And then we have other services like Xbox Game Pass directly on the TV, as well as Stadia. We have um, Utopmic and GeForce Now. Now you can edit the placements of any of these apps, so you want them closer or further. Now, this hub is only available for 2022 Samsung TVs. This is the Samsung S95B. This is one I just showcased some gaming on, and this is a pretty unique hub overall. Now, very top of the hub, you can see it says getting started, how to access. This is just learn more options for you if you need to. You can go ahead and pair your controller. I did that already. The steps are pretty straightforward for you to do that and it's something that works pretty well. There's a music player, there's also audio settings and of course your controller settings here. So if you're going to click on audio, it tells us a couple of audio options we have. And then the music player actually takes, it, takes us away to a music player page where you can scan the QR code for Spotify. And then of course you've got your controller options here. I have one controller connected, which is my Xbox wireless controller, but you can con connect multiple controllers from PlayStation to um, uh, your Nintendo Switch controller. So going through the menu here, we have our popular games. Now this is populated from all the streaming networks. So Red Dead Redemption here is actually available on Stadia. And you see, I can purchase it on Stadia. What's cool about this, it shows me a trailer. I can get more information. I have stills, I have related videos and related games I can access. And I can also go ahead and purchase it directly from here, which is linked into Stadia. It tells me how much it is. It would take me into Stadia to make that purchase. So again, that's actually pretty cool and very straightforward. Same thing with Halo um, Infinite. Now, Halo Infinite is, of course, with Xbox Game Pass subscription. This would take me to Xbox Game Pass. I can go ahead and hit continue and actually do that. So. That's also really nice as well. So you have that option for all the different, and it sources from the, all the different uh, subscription services that you have. Shredder's Revenge is a very cool game and a good game. Then you have each hub. So Xbox, it shows you the editor's choices here. You have things like, of course, Fortnite, uh, Forza, Halo Infinite, and so on and so forth. Stadia, here are the top Stadia picks. FIFA 2022, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we got Tom Brady here, and of course, um, you know, Mahomes for Madden 2022 control, so on and so forth. Then they have featured videos uh, that are related. That's of course, we'll be playing through YouTube. Then you've got the collections, RPG, sports, edition, co-op, survival, family-friendly games to pick from. Um, then of course, there's a Twitch stream that you can jump in if you want to. Um, no Man's Sky, here are some more games you can select. There's editor choices. And then at the very bottom, you can game ratings lock. Mine's on unrestricted personalization and tutorial. Very simple, very straightforward overall. Now, let's go ahead and uh, play a game from, of course, Xbox Game Pass. Uh, we definitely have one. We can go to each service. And here's Xbox Game Pass here. Now, we're already, we're already wearing Game Pass, so it quickly went through, and you can see this is the menu. If you've not seen the other video, this is a very straightforward menu that shows you your jump back in section like you have in Game Pass. At the very top right-hand corner, there's a search. There's your controller saying the controller is active, and you also have your avatar with your Game Pass option settings. So you can go through and, and customize the things you want to showcase on here. Then. You've got your featured games at this very top bar, recently added, most popular, what's leaving soon, the different categories, and then all your games. And it's quite easy and you can easily jump into a game. So uh, I'm gonna just showcase some Shredder's Revenge for you guys right here.
Okay, so we can quit the app. So we leave Xbox Game Pass, we're back, and let's move over into Stadia. Now, we've seen Stadia on other TVs, uh, like the um, Sony TV as well as the LG C1. So this isn't new here, and Stadia is available. It's just that the hub does something different. Now, once your controller is connected to the TV through that hub, it works for all the services, so you don't have to repair your controller again. Um, and one thing about it is that, of course, Stadia runs pretty well. I'm going to jump into Mortal Kombat while we talk a little bit more about the hub and some of the hub features. Now, one thing you notice with the hub is that it is so easy to actually use, um, especially with the fact that all you need is just one controller. So I'm going to just reduce the volume down so we can have some ambient game music in here as uh, we talk. But the gameplay feels very smooth, as you saw with Shredder's Revenge. You're going to see here. Uh, that is also really uh, smooth overall. Uh, it's just the load times, as you expect. Streaming services are improving on that, but this is very dependent also, again, on your internet speeds. I do have gigabit e internet, except the weird one from Spectrum, where it is uh, 900 down and 20 up, which doesn't make any sense uh, at all. But as you can see here, we're gonna play a local game, Mortal Kombat. Let's go ahead and pick Sub zero, pick an opponent. There we go. And of course, Scorpion, as you would expect. Set a medium, let's go random, Deadpool. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. So as you can see, uh, it's quite responsive. There were some glitches, but that's expected with uh, streaming gameplay overall. And from here, I can go ahead and, uh, you know, pause to access, or I can double tap the home button on my controller, uh, and I can exit. Exit game, shut down Stadia. So I'm gonna shut down Stadia and just go out of this here completely. So now that Stadia shut down, this will take me back to the game hub. And in the game hub, I can also use my controllers to navigate. So it's not just within each hub itself. Within the game hub, I can do that. Then let's go into GeForce Now. Now GeForce Now is one that, you know, you can connect to your Steam games and actually play with GeForce Now. Um, so let's see what we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and select a game. Uh, I can see it. my library is here. I haven't done anything other than just sign into GeForce Now. It's been a while since I've used the service, but let's see if I can go in and play any of my games within the library. So let us try The Witcher uh, 3. One thing I've noticed with GeForce Now is that it's still a little bit cumbersome as a service. It's just one to take note when you're using it. But this is what the Samsung Game Hub is all about, the Gaming Hub. So the Gaming Hub allows you to access all the games you want to stream, as well as also your consoles here. So you can jump into your Xbox Series X, you can jump into your PlayStation 5 directly. Uh, while this is separated from your media hub, kind of like even your PlayStation. So you get the general idea here. So if you guys have any questions, or any comments, let us know. Otherwise, uh, this is available only on 2022 Samsung TVs uh, currently right now and Xbox Game Pass. Streaming is only available on 2022 Samsung TVs as well. So thank you guys and uh, always enjoy entertainment.